I'm too young for this. Perimenopause? I don't know if you all are going through it or if you know anybody to go through it, but stay tuned so I can tell you some, some tips and tricks on how to get through this thing called perimenopause. Hey, welcome back to Sugar Fit. I'm so glad y'all decided to hop over on Side C. Come on, y'all. Let's get it. I can't believe this. One other symptom I have not told you all about that got me like what? Okay, dryness, yes. But your hair thinning out. Y'all, my hair. My Musafa. It's going straight. It's thinning out on me. Because what I can do now is I can draw my all my hair back and put it in the ponytail with one hand. Before my hair was too thick for me to even think about, I'm spitting, for me to even think about that. Like, what? Okay, so, I don't know. I'm gonna quit saying what y'all know, cause I don't know what videos y'all done seen. I don't know how y'all know me. So, if you're new here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification so you can get all of my videos sent straight to you. But let me tell you, y'all, my hair is thinning out. Like, super thin. What is going on? Uh-uh. So, the vitamin E will definitely help with that, too. And then the little oils and stuff I put in my body and drinking water and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, <clears throat> I wear a lot of protective styles because here in the Midwest, our winters are very harsh to, to the hair and I like to keep it up because I'm working out and you know, it's, it's easier to maintain and it's easier to maintain my length and thickness I thought, but guess what y'all, my hair, I shouldn't be doing this over my dishes. My hair is really thinning out and I'm just like, I'm, I'm not happy about that. And I'm like, because when I took my braids down, when I took my twist down, I noticed my hair was like really thin. And I'm like, why? I, normally my hair is thick. She thick. <sighs> vitamin E, vitamin E, y'all. Um, biotin, you know, stuff like that. I don't take biotin, but biotin will help. And so maybe I'll get some. Another thing I take is maca root. Maca root. Maca root is really good for the imbalancement that's going on. And maca root, what I can say about the maca root is it's really good for energy. When, when, when things are just really bad for me, the hormone imbalancement is real in my life, I grab this. I grab my maca root. It's, it's good to, to snatch me back, you know, because I'm like dipping into depression. I'm dipping into anxieties or I'm dipping into, um, you know, I just want to get away. Like, like I just, I just got to go. I'm dipping off into that. I take this and it snatches me back. Like, no, sugar, you good. You peace. You, you blessed. You keep going. Keep moving. Keep, you know what I'm saying? That's what this does for me. So, like I said, if you all want breakdowns, I can break down my supplements that I take. I can break them down for you all and um, let you know what they're good for. They all over the internet, y'all. Now do your homework. They all over the internet. But if you want me to holler at you, you want another quick woohoo, I'll give it to you. I can talk to you about it. Um, but yeah, I've taken all of those way before it started for different different reasons, you know. Herbs and natural supplements is, I don't know. I love them. I love them. They keep me balanced. They really do. And I detox from them as well. You know, like the um, lemonade diet or just a straight detox. You know, I do like a 60 day lemon water detox. I'm eating, but I'll do that detox in the morning and I feel great. And other detoxes I've done for um, the sake of getting all this out of my body because it adds up. And if you all are on any type of medicine, you want to detox from them as well. And with my vitamins and supplements, I'll be one week on and maybe two weeks off or one week off. Yeah. So another thing I do is castor oil. And what I do with this castor oil, you all, I rub it on my belly. I put a heating pad on and I don't know how to explain it, but it, it just, <laughs> woosah, okay? It 
it does that i'm just like zoned out everything is cool everything is copacetic and I'm, I'm breathing i'm able to breathe again but when i just need to just go lay down for a minute or even if it's at night time and i just had one of them days a hell of a day i'll go ahead and, and rub this on my stomach i put a uh you know a wet towel it's it's i think the term of it is um castor oil pack or or oil pack or something like that i've been doing this for years so i don't even know the title of it but um I used to do it when I was young. So anyway, you just put the castor oil on your stomach, on your lower part of your abdomen. You put that heating pad on, you're good to go. So, <sighs> that's it, y'all. Perimenopause. Don't be afraid of it. <clears throat> if it's if it's happening in you all's lives or you're thinking you're approaching it, you know, with age, so don't be afraid of it. You know, um, <clears throat> hold on. I mean, life happens. And sometimes we have to adjust with life, you know, and this is one of those adjustments. And don't just sit down like I'm getting old. I'm over. I'm over it. You know, life has happened. Uh -uh. Like my pastor said today, oh, church was so good. So good. So good today. But like he was saying, you're never too old. And it's cliche, but it's so real. You're never too old for anything. But what, what my pastor talked about today was like, he blessed, God bless the young and he blesses the old. Like, and he always talked about your latter days will be better. And, and I'm believing that. And I know somebody's probably watching this video like, girl, you are 44. You're not, you're not 74. You're 44. But I'm 44 going through perimenopause with symptoms and I just want to help my sis out there help my queens out there and let you all know that you don't have to sit down you don't have to be afraid of that change that's going to happen because I I just want to stress to you it can be very very scary it can definitely be scary but at the same time you educate yourself on the properties on the um the chemical imbalance the hormonal imbalance you educate yourself on that so you can be aware you know when you're ignorant about something it keeps you scared but when you educate yourself about it now you're empowered so let's empower each other out there um if you know anybody going through it share this this video or share the tips that you've learned from this video so that they won't be in any despair or anxiety going through perimenopause okay or even menopause you know, you're in menopause. I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video because I'm like all over the place because this was a trip for me, y'all. But you reach menopause after you've not had your cycle for a whole year or two. So what happens is your your body, your perimenopausal stage, you, your cycle will be like irregular, okay? For me, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm saying this, but for me, I was on my cycle for 30 days. And this happened, seriously, this happened to me about um, a year ago. And that's when I started questioning, what's happening to me? I'm afraid of my body. I'm afraid of, of, of things, you know. But yes, yeah, so I was on my cycle for 30 days days and it was it was during a time that I was really stressed out <clears throat> you know I was I was um new things was coming in my life you know and I was so busy with many of things and um <clears throat> yeah I was on my cycle for 30 days my ministration for 30 days and I went to my gynae <clears throat> and she was she basically said you're probably you're probably in premenopause and then she, um, you know, she told me to come back in 30 days, which I did, and everything was fine. They did a pap, and everything was fine. But that's what she told me. You're probably premenopause. And then she did offer me antidepressants, which I declined. And um, I was like, mm -mm. if that's what it is, then let me let me learn about that even more. If that's what it is, if it's perimenopause, I'm gonna learn more about it. And I did. Um, 
But I still was like, I'm too, it's too early for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I wasn't having any symptoms. To, to my acknowledgement, I wasn't having any more symptoms, you know. So check with your physicians out there. Let, you know, any changes that's coming up, document everything. Um, write your symptoms down. Write if you got a headache, if it's a different type of headache, how does it feel different? And what did you eat prior to that? You know, um, what else can I say? But yes, yeah, sis, don't, don't, don't be scared because it is, it, it can be very frightening. But like I said, empower yourself through education. Learn all you can about it. If you all want me to spend more time talking about it, I, I can. I can share what I've learned, um, what was taught to me from my mother, um, and the symptoms that I'm going through. And, and how my diet has changed those things. So now I am on a plant-based, more plant-based um, lifestyle. So I hope this video helped you all. I'm, I'm sorry that it was all over the place, but hey, perimenopause got me like, what? <laughs> For real, it got, me, it, it got me like, really? Perimenopause? But um, look, come on, come on. Come on, cause I, cause I got you, I got you, I got you, perimenopause, I got you, you know. And not just this, not just this, you know. I meditate more. Let me let you in on a little more. I pray differently. I pray constantly. Okay. I keep intact with my vertical marriage. Okay. So I pray a lot. I meditate a lot. I just sometimes just gotta woo side out, you know. And um, I just try to. Think peaceful, be peaceful. And if I have some episodes, I have some times where I'm pissed off or whatever, and I'm, I'm about to fly off at the mouth, then I fly off at the mouth. And then I just try not to do it too long, for real. I try not to rant on too long because in the middle of it, at the end of the day is so, like, what did I get across yelling? What did I get across? You know, tripping for a long time, other than the extreme headache. So I just, I just go with the flow. I let things go. You know, like they say, let go, like let God. I just let things go and, um, you know, put my mind on something different. I just, I try to have a different attitude about it. Whatever to tick me off. Oh, it's not even always a ticked off thing because I don't even want to come across like everything ticks me off. It's not even that. It could be just anxiety. My husband driving crazy and I'm sitting in this front seat like, do you not see your queen sitting right here? Do you not see your prize sitting right here in the front seat? Like, slow your roll, you know? I mean, I care about his life too, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, why are you driving crazy? And you know, this fears me. If you know that's, that's gonna get me going, you know, I'm going to be scared by the way that you're driving. My anxiety is going to hit the roof with my blood pressure. Why not slow down? Why not? Why put me through that anxiety? I'm your queen sitting right here. You know? So, that's how I talk to them. I have to let them know. You know, help me with this. If, if and, and it's not just an anxiety because of premenopause. It's, it's a fear. You know, everyone has different fears. And your fear, I'll help you with. So help me with mine. I mean, especially if you're the one causing it. Anyway, yeah, I'm ranting y'all. Because look, it happened today. So <laughs> got me all on 10. Got me all on 100. <laughs> mm. But anyway. <sighs> well, that's it. Premenopause and plant based. That's what I'm going to, you know, I'm going to. Uh, that's what I'm going to combat that premenopause with plant-based diet. But I'll let you all know how it works. You keep following me and uh, we, can, we can find out this thing together if it can help with some of those symptoms. And this is what I want to know from you all. Are you all premenopausal? Are you all going through menopause right now? And if so, what are your symptoms and what are your tips and tricks? Like, you don't need to give me no essay, but just, you know, shout, shout me out in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what's helping you, you know, or um, 
if you've heard of a supplement or herb or anything like that, um, let me know about it because I'll do my research on it and maybe I can try it as well. But um, y'all love y'all. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being there. And hey, we we can do this, sis. We can do this, queen. We got this. Perimenopause, come on, come on. Menopause, come on. We got you. We got you. We ain't scared because we're not gonna let it sit us down, slow us down, or or make us think that we're crazy. We ain't crazy. We ain't going crazy. And that's what I be wanting everybody to know. Just because you're going through some doesn't mean you're going crazy. So, come on, perimenopause. We ain't scared. All right. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. What? Space. Perimenopause. Woo! I know that I am enamored of all things healthy. My greatest aspiration is to heal above all things. I prefer to heal. So pardon my long, extended, overly winded video, but I really care to get this all out to y'all.